Miss Kelly. Sorry, my phone just started going off. Best times, best times. I hope you all had a great Labor Day. Um, my Labor Day was spent, well, I spent Saturday at Ulta. <laughs> and um, Sunday, really, we went grocery shopping. We really didn't do too much. Um, my son, my son, my husband put the sunscreens together and put some on the windows, but didn't get to them all. It's a process. It takes time. So I thought that I would show you what I got at Ulta and um, just uh, some of it I've used and some of it I haven't tried yet. So I thought that I could just kind of show you some of the things I'm really excited about, um, like for the first thing, which is my favorite so far, is the Too Faced Stardust um, by Vegas May. Um, you get this box and it opens here. You know, Too Faced always makes the cutest little boxes. I do have to say, I have some eyeshadows that have just cute little butterflies or pixies or, I mean, they just make the cutest boxes and I love them. Um, this is the inside of the box and it comes with two little slots. This is actually the outside of the box and this goes in here. I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm so excited about this and I know there's been reviews on this and um, my review on these eyeshadows are great. I, I used it for the first time this morning. Um, I'll show you the eyeshadows. It comes in a little box another and it's real sturdy it's like um, cardboard and then you open it up and there are your colors and they're quite versatile with each other I just I absolutely love them I love the gold down here I can't wait to use it over maybe one of these darker colors just to add some oomph to it you know some some uh, frosty colors make my eyes a lot brighter um, and then on the other side of the box, it comes with this. Okay, now. Now, when I got this, just mind you that all of this was out of the box. When I opened it, I thought, oh no, someone took all this stuff and I got the box that that happened to. But no, that's not what happened. Um, up here is your glitter powder. They call it glitter dust and I have not used that, of course. I don't use a lot of glitter on my face. I have MAC glitter, but this looks pretty. It's uh, frosty and it almost looks kind of vanilla goldish. So that's very pretty. Um, it also comes with this mascara, Better Than Sex. Um, I've never tried it before, but I still like my L'Oreal telescopic <laughs> black because it makes my eyelashes longer, which is what I need. Um, then it comes, of course, with this um, little tube of shadow insurance, which I've used before and I'm not really a big fan of it. Um, the eyelid primer that I would recommend for oily eyelids or any type of eyelid would be an Urban Decay um, primer. Um, but normally what I do is I just take my Benefit Professional Face Primer and put it over my eyes and it does it does a great job and you don't have two primers that you have to put on your face. So that's what I normally do. Um, and then it comes with these great glamour guides. And I have to tell you that I just love these things. Look at the back. It tells you straight up directions on how and what colors to use. And I, these little cards I love because you know what you can use other shadows and get these looks so these cards are kind of invaluable to someone who's new and starting out um, they're even invaluable to me because here's a you know dark smoky eye which I really don't wear but that I really like that I want to try so the, the glamour guides I love and I notice a lot of the makeups are starting to come with them, a lot of the different cosmetics, and I really, really like them. I keep them. It's like my Tarte uh, palettes. My Tarte palettes came with the, let's see, where is it? Yeah, this is the Poppy Picnic. It also came with ways to use their 
their eye uh, shadows. So I, I really like that. I, I think that um, is very helpful. So that is the Too Faced Stardust. Um, I, I believe it was $49.99. Um, I'll put it down in the description bar. But with that, I got a gift. And I got this cute little makeup bag. And inside of it came with a buttercream. Okay, so I forgot that I have two of these buttercreams, but not in this color. So this color, so they come, I, they come in this great little box. I mean, Too Faced comes with the greatest little prints on their boxes. I mean, they make it so feminine and fun, kind of little girlish too with the gold. I love it. I just absolutely love it. And so let's see, this is in Naked Dolly. And I used this yesterday as a, it's a nude and I used it under my Thriller um, Moxie lip liner. And um, you know, these, these are buttery lipsticks. So um, they're not gonna stay on even with a lip liner under it because they are very, I mean, look, I just wiped it off my arm with the towel. See, they're, they're not gonna stay if you want all day staying power, power. But um, they're great moisturizing lipsticks. So that came, and I thought that was well worth $49. I got, you know, a gift out of it. So if you're in the market for this Too Faced, uh, the Stardust by Vegas Nay, um, go to Ulta because they have a gift with it. And I think it's worth, um, I think that, that it's worth that kind of money. The eyeshadows are excellent. Okay, so I'm back. I had to say goodbye to my daughter. She has to go to a meeting today. Um, so that I got Saturday and also, let's see, did I get something else? I got, of course, I've done a review on these, these uh, Petty Scrub Foot Buffer Spongibles. Um, I gave one to my mother and she absolutely loves, she wanted to try this. I don't know if she's used it yet, but I told her I absolutely love these things. They lather so good. There's more than five washes in this, believe me. I got 15 washes out of the first one I got. You can get bigger washes if you want, you know, the more washes. Uh, excuse me, the bigger the sponge. So these are great. On one side is a cleanser and one side is an exfoliator. So I know I need those for my feet because my feet get so dry and sometimes they can get really calloused. So. Um, I try to keep that up. Sometimes I'm really good and sometimes I'm not so good. So that is another thing that I got. The next thing that I got was this Blow Pro Volume Blowback Time Anti-Aging Density Spray for your hair. Now I washed my hair today and I sprayed this in it and it made it feel stiff, very stiff. I don't like the feeling. Um, it, it, in order, so what it's supposed to do is give you, make your hair look um, voluminous, voluminous and look, make it, your hair look thicker, of course. And um, while it did make my hair, you know, have some volume on the top, I could get that with a regular hairspray and it wouldn't be so, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It wouldn't it wouldn't be so stiff as when I applied this. So what you do is you blow dry your hair and then you apply this in your hair. And I really didn't see a difference. So this is a no no for me. I am not. I've never heard of Blow Pro volume, but I thought I'd give it a try. I mean, you know, you've got to try it in order to find out if it works. But for my hair, it didn't work. And I have super short hair, which means if I had my long hair again, it probably wouldn't have done too much to my hair because of the weight. So that's my review on that Blow Pro. Now, I did order some stuff from Macy's and they, it came in um, a couple, last week sometime. Um, I ordered the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer just because um, I like the serum foundation. Uh, it I used it and it works great. 
It did not fall into my wrinkles. I got the color fair, of course. And this is, it comes with a little spongy wand. And I'll show you the color of fair. It's, I used it all under my eyes and down here a little bit. So, um, it, it, excuse me. So, um, one thing that call was very important to me. Um, my little Mia, my little black and white Shih Tzu went in for surgery this morning and I got not a wink of sleep last night. I think, I, well, I might have got an hour and a half, but I just held her all night and I, my animals all mean so much to me, just like my kids do, and my husband that any time they have to go through surgery, which thankfully my kids and my husband haven't had to, but my animals, you know that I've had a tough time with Nala, and um, she hasn't had surgery yet, but Mia had a growth growing on under her rib cage where her sternum is, and um, in January, it was really small, but I found it. And then by last month, it had grown quite a bit. And she has a growth growing on her lower eyelid. So they're taking the growth out, of course, both areas. And whenever, whenever anybody goes under anesthesia, you just, you know, I, you pray that the outcome is gonna be good because you just never know with anesthesia. So I'm just, I'm nervous today and um, I just want my baby home. So that was them telling me, they know how I am down there. And they all know me down there and they were just calling to tell me that the doctor was getting ready to do the procedure and just wanted to make sure what I wanted done, which those are the only two things that she needs done. Um, I just, you know, whenever I, I feel a lump on my animals and sometimes the doctor says, I don't know how you felt this, <laughs> but I'm always touching my animals and loving them and petting them. Um, I just hope it's not cancer. And um, it's, it's really, it really rapidly grew. And uh, I know a lipoma, which is a fatty tissue, and she is kind of roly-poly, but she's also very, very tiny. And um, she was so scared when she went in this morning at, at 7.30, and I just, I hate, I hate when you have to give them over and they look at you like, why are you doing this to me? Did I do something wrong? And I'm not gonna cry right now, so let's, let's get going. Let's, let's, get, let's get through the rest. So the next thing that I purchased, oh, oh, I was telling you about, I'm sorry, the Bare Skin um, Serum. I like it, it works well. Um, it's not as creamy and thick as my NARS, which is still my favorite, but I will use this under the serum. It doesn't give you too much of a highlight either, like the NARS, like my NARS does. But um, it's a good concealer if you wanna stick with Bare Minerals and you, you still want the serum too. Um, by all means, you could use this and just use a mineral veil over if you wanted to um, because it covers pretty well. So I like that. The next thing that's been around a little while that I, I usually, I used to wear until I got that Tarte gel. Um, I found that the Tarte gel was g coming down my eyelid and it's not supposed to. And I have oily eyelids, so of course, um, that might happen. I even tried powdering under it. It still came down. So this is my all-time favorite. I've used it a long time before I got that tart. It's the Stilla Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Now some, I've seen some reviews on this and some girls have said that it's not black enough for them, that it comes out kind of gray. You have to shake this. Um, I have one here that I've I use today but as you can tell it has something in it you have to shake it to get that that all mixed up and get it thick and the pen is so look at that it's so precise and so easy to use I absolutely love it you can go as thick as you want or as thin as you want with your eyeliner and um, this stuff is a great buy it's my all-time favorite it does not come down on my eyes no matter what I've been doing I could be out in the Sun gardening and this stuff stays put where it's supposed to be which is on my eyelids and not coming down on my cheek so <laughs> I know that's a little dramatic it does, it's not that bad but it does come down and it doesn't look good 
So the last thing that I'm going to show you is my Bare Minerals, the Color Compatibles, complimentary shades for eyes and cheeks. And the box is so cute, it's got little flowers on it, and it looks like this. And I actually got this on sale at Macy's for $15, I'm just saying, because I went to Ulta and I saw it, but um, they didn't have any more. They had sold out of them and they weren't getting any more in. So this is a closeout kind of deal, I think, because just, you know, if they're not getting it back in and Macy's got it on sale, you know, clearance, well, probably not coming back. So let's see, that comes, I've not opened this yet. It comes with a little card. And of course, Bare Minerals is always good about giving you ways of putting on their on their cosmetics, different types of looks, which I really love. And let's see what the inside, ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. So the, in the inside looks like this. And I'm going to tell you the colors. This is called, uh-oh. Be Ritzy, Be Hoopla, and I just put my nail in Hoopla, okay. Uh, be Priceless is the gray. These are all shimmer except for one. Um, this is Be Shiver, which is a beautiful lilac. Uh, two, oh, that, that's not B. Those are numbers. Oh, I don't have my glasses on. Oh my gosh. So this is one Empress, and that's the only one that's not a frosty shadow. And this is number two Bragging Rights, and then all the other colors are what I said without the B in front, okay. Because I'm blind as a bat, obviously. Um, the beautiful, they've got, of course they always do this, they have a bronzer, which is the high dive, which is right here. They have the Five Star Treatment, which is a beautiful um, highlighter. And they have the Summer Fling, which I don't know if that's gonna be too good for me. It's like a peachy pink, but a very, very pinky, more pinky than anything. And pinky just does not look good on my skin when my hair color is red. So that is, and it comes with a little brush, which of course I probably won't use because these mini brushes, I don't know what it is, but I like a full-size brush while I'm working on my face. I just do. That's just me. So that is what I got. And I am looking forward to trying out this Color Compatibles. I think the price that I paid for this, I got a really good deal on all the eyeshadows and the um, blush and the uh, bronzer and the highlighter. I think they're all good. And they even tell you right here on the back of the box how the colors that go really well together here for, for each, for your eyes. So that's kind of good too. You know, you can all, I can always use the extra help. So I'm gonna go get um, finished getting dressed and I'll show you my outfit of the day and then I am going to sit around and I gotta do some work with Gracie and then wait for them to call me and tell me that my baby is out of anesthesia and she's okay. So um, I will, uh, oh. what can I say? Um, please like and subscribe to my video. Um, I would appreciate it so much and um, I hope you all have a great Tuesday and I will see you tomorrow but I will go and get my outfit of the day ready because I'm getting ahead of myself because my brain's not thinking good today. So I'll be right back.
Okay, everybody, so here is my outfit of the day. Um, of course, the sweater is from Maurice's. It has a really cute little hood on the back here. Um, I love these little hoods because if you were caught in the rain, what's it gonna do, right? I think it's just for, you know, just a cute little, <laughs> little hood that really means nothing but is cute, okay. Um, it's really, really, really a delicate. Um, you can see the stitching in it, but I'm telling you that Maurice's makes their clothes very durable. It looks fragile, but it can really take, I don't want to say a beating, but it can, it can take what you give it. Um, of course, if you nag it really, really hard, or I'm not nag it, snag it really, really hard, might have some problems. But um, I have bought my cardigans from Maurice's for years and years and not one have I ever destroyed and I've got some really delicate pieces in my closet. So um, I think their clothes stand up really well. Um, this is a cami uh, from Maurice's. You know how much I love these. And I just kind of paired them up with my New, my New York and Company. Um, they're kind of jeans, but they're soft. Uh, these are the ones I've showed before with the zippered pockets, so I try to kind of hide those because I'm not a zipper girl. Um, so there's the back. And then my shoes um, are, from, are Ralph Lauren. They're from Denim and & Company. And I got these from Macy's, and they're, you know, kind of clog type. Um, they're super comfortable, and I have yet to kind of make them wider for my feet so my heel doesn't stick out so bad in the back. But um, I love them. They're super, super cute, super comfortable, and I don't fall in them because I am not good when it comes to, sorry about that, when it comes to heels. <laughs> um, I have a story in one of my other videos of falling in Victoria's Secret thinking that, you know, oh, I've got heels on, I can walk in these. Can you guys believe I can walk in these? And then I fell in them. It was so, so embarrassing. So um, anyways, uh, oh, the earrings. My earrings, I'm not sure where I got my earrings. I think it's from Maurice's. It could be New York, I'm not sure. I've had them for a couple of years. So um, they're really cute and I, I love the style of them. They look like, you know, little fans. And that would be my outfit of the day. So I'm gonna get scooting along, get my daughter going on her work, and um, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good day, bye.